Hey guys, uh, this is Miss Moore, third grade teacher at Ingram South, and I'm going to walk you through the process of actually logging in to your student's Clever account. And by using that Clever account, it will open the door to all the apps and programs that they will be assigned if they have to go in quarantine. So we just like to be prepared. So the very first thing your kids are going to do when their computer opens, their screen may or may not look like this. Most of them will just log, pop up with a login screen and they'll just click next and the camera function will pop up. But since I'm actually using my personal computer, I'm having to log in on a separate account. Now I do have permission from this student's parent to use their QR code today. So, but this student is at Kaufman. So when this pops up, it will be a different school, but I just wanted to do this uh, just to show you how to log on. So we're going to log in with Google. That's one way to do it, but the easier way to do it and the way that most of the kids are going to have to is by using their Clever Badge. Now their Clever Badge is just simply a QR code that the teacher will provide. It's generated through Clever through the teacher. So you're going to get a simple QR code. Just don't lose it. Okay, they're going to click to log on. Okay. I'm going to hold this up. Click and you are good. Okay, so this is what we call, at least I used to call it the hub. It's clever. Clever is kind of like the train station that allows us to go anywhere we need to go. So once you're here, your kids will be able to go to their apps, go to programs or anything they need to. So the ones that they're probably going to use the most, this first one is if you have older students, uh, third, fourth, or fifth. The Achieve 3000 is what we use for RTI, or we call it now WIN time. This is what we use. We uh, will give assigned articles, depending upon the grade level. Third grade usually does an article and an activity. The older kids usually will start doing a five-step activity. So it just varies from group to group. Now, it's not on this student's because he is older, but the lower grades, they use a program called Smarty Ants, and that's what they get on. You have Amplify, which is our reading in English uh, things that we use. You also have iReady, which is our math. Then finally, Renaissance Place is where they do their AR testing. Now, the, these other apps, we don't really use them that much, but they are on the Clever platform. So you don't, you probably won't use them. Now, <clears throat> I'm actually going to go to a Google Classroom, which is where your parents, not your parents, I'm sorry, where you as parents can find the students' assignments that the teachers will be posting online. So you just have to click on the Google Classroom. I'm not going to click on this students because it'll take me to other teachers. So I'm just going to go to my Google Classroom. And don't want the mouse pointer. Sorry, I'm just playing around right now. Okay, so these this is how you're this even though it's my view, your kids will have like right now, I'm with Miss Kayla Bailey. She has shared her class with me. If I was in Miss Kayla Miss Bailey's class as a kid, this is how it would look. I'm gonna show you an archive class and how exactly your stuff will look. All right, so once they get into the classroom that they need. Okay, so your student's class will pop up like this. You'll say the teacher usually and what um, grade it is or what class it is, depending upon the grade. If you're probably fourth or fifth, each teacher will have their own classroom. 
So that's how that will be done. Now this is stream. Now I compared this to kind of like social media where everything you do is posted on here. It's not the easiest thing to maneuver. So I always tell my students to go to the classwork section. Once you click on classwork, it's going to be a lot more organized. So remember, this is my last year's class. Now everything I had was done by dates and I did the assignment. So if they needed to do it, they would click on the assignment and it would, I guess that quiz is gone. <clears throat> it would take them here and we would go to their drives. They would click on the file and it would take them wherever they needed to go. Now I have one that I did. Like whatever they chose, uh, however format they chose, they would just click on the assignment and click on the link and that link would take them wherever they needed to go. Whether it was a, like right here, Oops. sorry. But whatever they needed to do, like if it was a quiz, we had Google Forms that we used. They click on the Google Form, it takes them there. If it's a web page, they would go to that web page. It would take them to there. So it was very easy to maneuver once you get used to it. So this is Google Classroom. Google Classroom is where all the assignments are going to be and where all the necessary information that you need for that teacher. Now, if you need to get a hold of the teacher, the best way to do it is through email. Email them or most of the teachers in our school use Dojo. Get on Classroom Dojo and message them and they will get back to you as soon as they can. That is basically it. If you have any more questions, like I said, contact um, the teacher and we will try to help you all out as best as we can and stay safe.